JT, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yes, still striving with uh, coughs and colds and things like that. I haven't got one now, but my brother has. So, so I'm, bit, I'm wh- having to hold him back for a little while. You know, oh. poor guy. He's get, he, he get over, he's got an antibiotics yesterday, so hopefully he'll get better. So oh. we, we are fighting that at the moment. Right. So, uh, you know, the normal winter things. Oh, dear. So do you think you might be back soon? Um, I'm hoping to. I'm hoping to be back next week if I can. I'm going to try and make it up somehow. Yeah, I'll, I'll surprise you. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Yeah, you're sounding good here, mate. I'm listening to your programme. All right. I like it. Yes, yeah, so it's nice being the listener for a change instead of the actual person on it. Well, yeah, so you, you're even more relaxed. Yeah, I'm hearing bits of it. I'm recording it, and then they're going to listen to it back later on. All right, OK. Yeah. Well, that is good. Well, look, JD, you, you'll... You, you might have heard, we explained a bit, we played some, some old clips just to explain our ambitions or what we're trying to get to, which is yeah. to effectively be in a cafe situation but still do an FM broadcast. So you know that we, we sort of mix and mingle. We have conversations before the show and after the show and actually if we had to be able to record it, it might work better than what we manage in the studio sometimes. Right. So... This whole business of what we can do with a huddle or an iPhone or some other phone, um, how we can mix it all together. Right. That's really, that's the issue we've been talking about for a while, isn't it? Yes. Well, you were trying to get the whole, the whole uh, programme together in a, in a different format, are you? Well, I think the format, well, the format of the show can change. It's called The Wild Show because there isn't, a, well, we, we seem to have a bit of a format, but um, the format can vary. So that's all right. No, um, he wants he wants a kind of format where we can sit in a cafe, and still do an FM broadcast, so we don't have to be in this studio. We can be in a we can be in a coffee shop somewhere, or upstairs, or down at Cafe Fifty Five, and still do the broadcast effectively. Well, well, I've I've seen technology on the market where you can actually have a mixer, and then you plug your phone in. We used to do it many years ago when I was on hospital radio. We, before the days, before the days of this real Wi-Fi and all this. Uh-huh. Where we actually broadcast from the high street in Totnes uh, back to our studio through a, through a landline. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, so it came through, uh, came through a mobile phone. Yeah. And then you, then you picked it up in the studio and you broadcast. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be stereo, but at least it'd be, it'd be a monoral uh, uh, reception. Oh, now, yeah. now, Will's, Will's back bearer is a phone. He doesn't get on with phones all <laughs> as well. No, a landline, so a landline I can, I can, a landline I can cut with. Right. J- will, J- you, look, look. Now, come on, guys, you wouldn't be talking to me if I was on a landline, would I? Well, you are on a landline. I'm oh. on a landline right now. Ah, oh, well, that, yes, OK. <laughs> so so that's, that's another possibility then. Yeah. But, JT, look, it's, it's really good that you phone him because we, we've been talking during the week... Having seen the gadget show, which yes. I think is repeated, but Chris is watching it on demand anyway. Right. Um, and they've launched this idea of a future gadget. Right. And I think that's a better... I mean, John doesn't think we'll win it, but it's, it's possibly a better approach than a, a raffle. Yeah, but right. there's probably about 100... You've got to remember, there's probably about 100,000 people at the gadget show, uh, and... You know, it's the luck of the draw, well, Will. Well, yeah, but... No, oh, no, it's the idea. They're looking for a good idea. For crying out loud. Uh, no, I'm sure... Look, this is a good... So, look, JD has come up with various boxes that could have gone in the raffle and would help extend the studio, but I'm talking about just the one box. So, JD, look, we, we, all they want is a spec, but j- based on, on, the, on the show, um, their presenters didn't have to do the engineering or the design... They just had a good idea, or a reasonable idea, um, and they took it to a design team. So if we said we want this box that plugs into an FM desk... And yeah, I think the box should be a bit more, a bit more of um, oomph in it and have, have a several ideas so we can put lots of different things into it. Right. And not, not just one Wi-Fi connection. OK. So you had a, cu- a couple of things to go into. So when you do the show, you could, you could run two phones off it. Right. Or two MP3 players or whatever. Yeah. So it makes it a bit more versatile. Because the uh, studios of today are getting a bit limited to just the basic CD players and what have you, as you know. Yeah. And um, it's nice to go one step further. And have something where I can just 
wander in and do a show off the off the off the street with my my huddle or my, my whatever, you know, and and would make any difference. Well, yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. Um, the other thing I think we've spoken about before, which I'd like to put into the spec, is a way of checking uh, the language, the broadcast advisability of any request that comes in. So this box would would have access to some online streaming service. Yeah, but it would well, also okay, sort you, of could, you could have it or into a computer already. So you could you can actually you could probably do, as I said you could do a whole show from this Wi-Fi box. You, you know. And it, it will save. I was. I think it will save on on the amount of money spent on leads and things like that, and frustration. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the biggest word: the frustration, <laughs> because you know, because the studio is used by a lot of people, yep. and that's the thing. You see, it's not. Um, so we say um, you, you have there's an engineer there all the time, but um, somebody which you can actually uh, uh, talk to about. If there's a problem, you know, they, they say, look, there's another lead there you can plug in or whatever. We're, we have to find it out ourselves. So to have something which is always working is a, is a godsend, I think. Yeah. So the, the other thing th that we've talked about is having it in sort of two stages, because that's the other thing. They, they, they had a drone that couldn't get permission to be flown, but they said that a later version would be smaller and that you don't need permission for. So... They're quite open to the scale being variable. Right. And so I think the, the first box would be a reassuringly chunky sort of box that would look right in a studio. So yeah. the, the people who are used to an FM studio would be quite happy with it. Mm -hmm. But it would get smaller over time. And um, there would be a version that, yeah, you could just take... It would be the size of a huddle. So if you had it next to your huddle in a cafe that it would look right and it would all work and you could well, record that, it or stream it all. When you go out on the road, you see, you use Wi-Fi a lot. Yeah. To your phone, so why not in the studio? You know, that's, that's why I'm, I'm questioning it that now, nowadays is that I know they like the connections and that it's safe and all the rest of it, but, uh, but if, you're, if you're only using input of music on it, yeah. then that's fine, you see, that's, that's no problem at all. But if you're using it for... Uh, you know, like computers, which is not very safe. You know, we're going online, shall we say. Well, they're, they're getting better. They're getting more reliable as it goes on. Mm-hmm. I, th I think. Well, we've got... I mean, just to, just to explain a little bit about this, Judy, we now, we're now on to Windows 7. Mm-hmm. And that does seem to... That's, that seems to work. Right. It works better than XP. Yeah. Well, it's a different computer as well. But anyway, um, I think I, I, I would say that if you can feed a desktop into the into the desk, that's that's okay. And I, I know but you like your desktop. Yeah, all yeah, right. You, you well, can't get away from the desktop. <laughs> I, I can understand that, you see, because that that is a solid connection. You see, into a, you know, there's no hassle in between in not having a, a good Wi-Fi connection. But um, if if the Wi-Fi connection is only for the studio, then it should be stronger. But I don't know. I'm not a technician, but this is just an idea yeah. of, of mine, well, which I thought you yeah. know, that it could make it easier for any DJ to come and sit there and do a show at any time. Yeah, well, if it's a, if it's a dedicated network, it would just mm -hmm. be a small-scale network that, that, that had a strong signal <laughs> and worked OK for that. Right. But anyway, JD, look, the other thing I want... Well, there's two other things I want to talk to you about. You remember design science? Sorry? Design science. Uh, I can't quite hear that. It's very faint, this line, so oh. I'm having difficulty of hearing. So. JD, I'll, ch I'll try it again. W one of the things we s we've spoken about is design science for the design JD. Design science, oh yes, your favourite design science, yes? Yeah, so <laughs> we've spoken about this many, many times. Right. But I want to come back to it next week. Well, there you go, you see, your design science is now you're designing a studio. Yes. To fit the need of not just, you know, one person, everybody. You see, technology moves on, so you're designing again. So, yes, I can see it now. You see, it's coming together. It's, so it works. It works. <laughs> it's, not, yeah. it's not just people you're talking, mate. <laughs> it's proper stuff. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, ex exactly so. Mm. But, but where, where you were raising questions is whether it would apply to a radio show as such. Right, to well, this. Well, that, that's the... the um, well, some people like designing their programme, um, hence on other, should we say, national 
you know, stations, they have to, for timing, etc. But the station you're on at the moment, you know, Phonic FM, and any other community radio, it's, it, there's no playlist, so, so therefore it, it should come really from you as a person. Yeah. That's where, I think that's where the design should come from. Right. You know, so, you know, because um, it, it's like, I, I, I go and, like, it, like I said, go and do a program at Sil Hayne, but my, a bit of my program is, is um, to say, ready for it, but how I execute it is, uh, it, it'll come to me as I sit in front of the microphone. So that's my design. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you know, so you don't, you don't really know? I what? don't know. Like your, like your other show does. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, on that uh, one, I, I like that one so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good title, and yeah, <laughs> it's brilliant. We just don't know anything. Well, no, we do have. We have a sort of a, a sort of design. <laughs> you, know, you know where you are at the moment. We know we start out at the edge of what sort <laughs> and of the you end. Know you're of, doing a show. Yeah, yeah. Right, so that's that's you do know, but but how are you going to execute it so that it would be the best for the person at the other end of the mic, uh, the um, the listener. Yeah, whether you know whether it's uh, you're talking about FM as well, and I actually agree with John in a way that uh, FM is very restricted. Um, I, I, I would think I don't know. It may be still around in the next ten years. We just don't know. Really. It might change. Well, it's local, isn't it? Well, yes, it's, a, my it's an old it's an old form of of um, you know broadcasting, and including the AM and and all that all this. It, the other stations as well. You know, it's, it depends where you are in the world, really. So AM, you can you can pick up further afield, but it's not so popular anymore. But FM is. Well, issue, but it, uh, that's uh, only these stations are only can only now because of law go certain you know, six or seven miles from the from where it's broadcasting from. So well, it restricts it in the way. An issue that I have with FM. Sorry. I said the issue that I have with FM, I don't wish to offend any listeners no. when I say this, but the issue that I have is these smartphones are coming more, are being more and more used and uh, you can, you can, you can download loads of apps to li listen to, listen to, listen to radio now. You don't necessarily right. have to be by a radio in order to get radio. So okay. I think, well, I think as time, I think as time uh, um, evo evo evolves, mm -hmm. it's uh, FM signal is just going to slowly die anyway. Well, the only good thing about the FM is you've got, you've got to think that some people, you know, like the older generation don't have phones. No. And they don't know what they are. They could be, well, exactly. You know, exactly. So they've got to have given them an opportunity to listen to on another sort of media. So that's why I can see it's very, very good. Well, yeah, it has its, po it has its points, but for most people, but for most p well, I don't know. The, but for old people, yes, FM is still necessary. But, but I mean, for the majority of people, well, for, for, for my generation, at least, well, it's, FM, okay. is dying. Well, FM is dying. I've, I've actually well, seen older people on mobile phones, and they're actually better than I am. <laughs> so, well, you know. a lot of, I mean, even smartphones these days, a lot of old, mm. a lot of oldish people have got them anyway. I mean, mm, it yes, depends what yes, kind I, of. I understand that, but uh, but uh, if, if you go to somewhere you know, like in. Uh, in, in Scotland, in the wilds of Scotland, they, they don't have, the, you know, um, uh, mobile phone connection. Then, then you're going to have to have FM. So uh, it dep really depends, really. You know, it's, I'm two minds about it, really, in the long run, uh, because of um, for community radio, because it's only, a, um, uh, should we say, only limited how far it goes. Yeah. But I, I can tell my listeners, I can actually pick up. Um, Phonic FM here where I live, which is right near, quite close to Totnes. So it is, it, it depends, depends where you are in the county, mm. but it's very restricted, you see, mm. in the long run. I, I prefer to listen to on FM in the car, very much so, right. and that sort of thing, but you can't always pick up the station to say everywhere, so my it's very, point. very, very that's limited. But I can see your point, you know, that because that's with you. It's in your pocket, and you can, uh, um, you can, you can go and uh, uh, go, you know, around the world with it if you so, wanted to. Yeah, you listen to that's what I'm trying to get. Uh, on the uh, other side of the world. I mean, yeah, that's what mm. I'm trying to get. At. You 
So okay, that, that's FM, what... FM is very, very good for where you can reach it. Like, mm. you can reach it in your car, you can reach it. Did you say you can reach it at your house? Sorry? Did yes. you say you can reach at your house? Yes, I can. Yeah, well, on the top of the hill, I can. there's a certain point I can pick up Bay FM, which is another station, unfortunately, in... That's, well, we, that's right, you can that's mention Bay FM. Bay, Bay FM is the guys in Exmouth. I'm, sure I'm sure they'll be lovely. I'm sure they'll love county, to get a mention you know, from it's us. A, it's a reception problem, really. But anyway, that, that's, I think that's, that, that sort of you know, puts my, my view of, of, of uh, you know, what I think. But I think community radio actually is only, you see, at the moment we broadcast on, on the internet and you can go, as I said, you can go to Australia, wherever you like in the world. Right. You know, you can listen to it. And, but yet again, we call it um, community radio, you see. That's, that's the thing which uh, I, I haven't got my head around community radio. <laughs> well, the word com- community yeah. radio. Well, community the community has sort of started out as local, didn't it? But obviously, mm. if it well, goes it's online, it's... Bit. I can understand that. But if, you, uh, if you're saying something, you sort of say, uh, you know, uh, here in Devon, and uh, you're listening in Australia, I don't know if that's a cultural thing. It could be. I don't know. You know, so I haven't really listened to it on the other side of the world or, you know, out of the county myself, so I don't really know. No, well, it, it, it'll, all, it'll all become clear. Mm-hmm. JD, we're going to go back to music. Yes, you better go I, back to music I've because we've been, been gassing for too long. Well, we <laughs> normally, normally, JD, there's somebody in the corner who says, um, <laughs> you know, we've got to go back to the music because... Yes, you do that because I think you better. Yes, OK, then. <laughs> but, JD, just before you go... Yes? Are you, go- are you going to be doing your show tomorrow, do you think? I am, yes. I did it last week and this week as well. So uh, but the week before, I didn't do because I lost my voice. Oh, and dear. some people say that was a, a godsend. But just for the people who don't know, explain how they could listen to your show and what it is. Right, OK. Well, the, the show is uh, on Access All Aerials. Yep. It's uh, geared towards the 80s because uh, I, I found that was a, a really good era, and I can relate to it. Uh, tomorrow I shall be presenting, I think, about nine or ten songs or something like that. It's about an hour um, of music, which the uh, tracks which I like, which is going to be a bit sort of uh, indulgence, but uh, it will be quite good, and they're very good tracks. So you can listen to that. And so It's on between seven and nine on right. Access All Aerials, if you, look, if you look up Access for Aerials, you'll So they find just search, search for Access for Aerials on Spreaker? Yeah, on Spreaker. And uh, you can listen to it live, or you can, you can listen to it uh, on uh, Listen Again. OK. OK? That's great. JT, thank you very thank much you, for finding yeah. in. OK. We'll have, see you next week, have, hopefully. Yeah, see you next week, then. Goodbye. Have a good show. Bye. Bye. So, um, so that was JD. It was. That was fantastic, wasn't it? Yeah, it was lovely to hear from JD. Thank you, JD. We got the phone to work after he'd helped us to work out how that... I mean, it's this fader. No, oh, yeah, that's the right yes. That's the right fader. I remember that now. Yeah. So, C, so T, U, C... And when we press that button behind, we can only hear him in the headphones. Tell C... Dear you. listeners, look, we're going back... We're going back to... Uh, the influence, and this is on now on to, to track two, but it's, it's uh, just a slightly different mix.